Hi, my name is Anne Marie from Smart Specs in Alloa. Um, a few of my customers have actually asked me recently what actually happens, what's the process of their glasses being made. I thought you might like be, be interested in seeing what actually goes on behind the scenes. So first thing that happens is my customer comes in with the prescription. We make sure that it's actually a legal and up-to-date prescription, that the date's correct. We then check the prescription take some measurements from the customer. We would take what's called a PD measurement, which is actually the, pu the distance between the pupils. As a technician, I need that information to ensure that when I make the spectacles, that everything is actually where it's supposed to be and that the customer's going to actually have their lines of vision exactly where it's supposed to be. So, customers com has come in. We've done that part. We then pick a frame. Um, this gentleman here has picked some, a nice little plastic frame. He wants just a little basic backup pair of glasses that he can use when he's out playing a kickabout with his son with the football. Doesn't want to damage his fancy rimless glasses, which obviously cost a lot of money. So what I've done is we've made sure the frame actually fits my customer. I've taken the measurement. Gentleman's paid me some money and he's got a nice receipt to prove that he's made a contract with me to make some glasses from. I've made sure that I've got the lenses in stock and I can now actually go ahead and make the glasses. So if you'd like to come with me, we'll go and we'll start the process and show you exactly what happens. So first thing I do is obviously I make sure I have the lenses in stock. Um, take the lenses out. The first piece of equipment I'm going to use is called a facimeter. So what we'll do is we'll just switch in all, all of the machinery. Um, this piece of equipment here is called a facimeter and this lets me read the actual prescription from the lenses, set up the powers, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. There's a thing called the ocular centres and the ocular centres have to marry up with the PD that we took earlier from our customer. So what we do, just pop the lens on here and we've got a little target down here and we need to make sure that we actually have everything completely centred. There we go, we've got a nice centre. The meter actually tells me that the lens is a minus 150. And as per the packet from a supplier, it does confirm that it's a minus 150. So all I do is I take the markers and I mark up the actual ocular centre of the lens and I get three little dots. That then lets me make sure that when I make the spectacles for the gentleman, everything's going to be where it's supposed to be. I just repeat that for the second lens. Again, just make sure that everything's doing what it's supposed to do. Nice central reading and mark it up and we get three little dots on the lens again. Perfect. Next thing we do is we take the demonstration lens out of the frame. Carefully. There we go. Just check the frame to make sure there's no blemishes or marks on the frame. And then we're going to put it into the machine to actually take a tracing, which is a bit like a template. So all we do is we then set the machine to the type of frame that we're going to do, which is a plastic frame, and we tell the machine to go ahead and trace that for us. Just takes a couple of seconds to do that. Whilst we're waiting for that, we can then make sure we have everything to, to hand that we're going to need. Fortunately, with a plastic frame, there's not a lot of we need by way of tools. We don't need, obviously, screwdrivers, drivers or anything at all like that. Um, we're going to do um, a little couple of bits of technical adjustment on the machine, set up the lenses and we'll show you the lens cutting. Now unfortunately it's a little bit noisy when the lens cuts but you get used to that as well. So that's it done the trace and the machine will then, from the tracing part of the machine it will put the little traced picture through and on the screen you can actually see the tracing of the frame. The next thing we do is we actually tell the machine some measurements about the frame. Then we go into the next screen on the computer and we know that the gentleman's PD was 65. So we need to tell the machine that piece of information as well. So we go in here and we tell it it's 65. And then what we have to do is we have to make sure that the three dots that were on our frame, on our lenses, <coughs> nice and bold, so we can see them on the, machi on the machine. They have to match up 
with all of the calculations that have come through on the machine for me. So we just make sure everything's set up the way it's supposed to be. That's grand. This is called blocking up. Block up the lens. Then we put the lens into the machine. And it goes into quite a tight grip and vise in here. There we go, and the lens is ready to be cut. And we just repeat that for the left lens. Make sure we tell the machine we're now concentrating on the left lens. And we take the label off there and we block that up also. Nice and straight. That's it ready to go. We then tell the machine we actually want to cut the lens. And we check all the sizing that the machine's told us it would want to cut for this frame. We'll just make a little adjustment. This part's a little noisy folks, so bear with me. And once it starts cutting, I can let you see. There you go. Lots of water in here. And quite noisy as I say, so bear with me for a couple of seconds folks. Okay, so that's the lens cut to size for us. And what we need to do now is we need to do what's called hand edging. So we go to this machine next. Put a little bit of water from the feet of the tank onto the lens, the wheel. Once we've got that there, we just very gently and carefully hand edge the lens. Takes any sharp edges off the lens for us, so that the customer there's no chance of customer cutting their face when they put the glasses on. Just wipe that off. Take your frame, and then in theory, the lens should just clip in. Perfect. So what we want to do now is cut the second lens to fit. Make sure we're cutting the left lens. Need to tell the machine it's the left lens we're cutting. And again, noisy folks, so I do apologise. That's the, the left lens is now cut. So again, we've got to hand edge it just to make sure there's no sharp edges. Very carefully just run the lens down the wheel. Wipe off any excess. And again, just present the lens to the frame and click in, nice and firm. Nice click, nice loud click. Then what we want to do is some special pliers to lift these little suckers off. Take that off, that's the blocking pads. Want to take those off, take off the stickies. Then what we do, very important, we have to do some quality control on this to make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be. So we take our centre dot and our centre dot and we measure from one to the other and wow, look at that, 65 millimetres, which is exactly what we needed for our customer. So then what we'd have to do next, clean the lenses. Sorry. Get a nice clean one. Clean the lenses with a nice spray that we use in the shop. There we go. Lovely and clean. Everything is exactly as it should be. All of our paper is recycled. So for those of you who have a, a green nature, everything's done on that front. Any bits of plastic that we have, demonstration lenses, etc., all go for recycling as well. Next thing we do is make sure that the frame's actually sitting correctly, and this one needs a little adjustment. So we have a special frame heater. We'll just pop that on, do a little adjustment here. So a little adjustment folks, a little bit of heat, helps us move the frame about. There you go, that's us. Beautiful pair of glasses. And we pop those into a case. Along with a nice cleaning cloth. There we go. Lovely micro microfiber cloth to help protect your lenses when you're cleaning them. Pop them in the case and that's your glasses ready for collection. Thanks very much for watching. We hope you found that interesting and you'd like to see more things that we have we've posted there to help you. 
please feel free to go along to www.alowasmartspecs.co.uk and there is a £5 voucher that you can print off and bring in and use towards the cost of a complete pair of glasses. Thanks for watching.